Uh, it was not the button start class was not pushed here. I thought it was like, oh, no, <laughs> I got one. I didn't feel awesome though. You and Landon are supposed to sit in the front. It's too far. Is that right? Huh? Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> what, if, what if I'm tired of doing Maybe I can sit in front and I'll go up for you. Right. Right. May I sit next to you guys? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. when you were approaching, uh, showing this, I thought yeah. it is like, give me a Just hand it to me. I need it now. I like the fact that the chairs are not going to try to you know, squeeze everything out of me now. <laughs> 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 I don't want to do that. 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 It's going to have a little bit of a like net square well for your potential. <laughs> You know, it might be possible for you to tell us if you just have to like get a chair a little bit and have a little Which would reduce the number of microphones. It would make sense. So it's an unlikely There we go. <laughs> well, thanks for coming. I don't know is it exact time you will start or not, but you, you better start because the program is very intense. So probably you all are very excited because you're completed to some degree homework. Mm -hmm. So we have a three fold program today. So first, we will deal with your homeworks. Second, we set up an option of extra credit so that no one worries too much about uh, grades. And third, we will do actual new material, which will be probably smaller portion than usual. So. Let me do the following. So I have a um, way, a suggestion that I hope you will enjoy and I will enjoy for sure. So you will learn more about the homeworks and make sure that you did it right, repeating it. And I will get rid of uh, grading work. <laughs> you, you got an idea. So, in case some of you are sensitive for others seeing your identity, I, will, I have prepared stickers. <laughs> so you can put a sticker on uh, on your name in the work and write your name nearby here. So and, oh. oh, so it's... I mean, if you didn't do that, you put, put a symbol that you like. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Draw a lion or a rabbit, whatever you <laughs> Or a star. <laughs> just trying to like a put it here. Oh, like, okay. Bam, bottom. Yes, yes. <laughs> and now here, uh, make the same symbol and write your... But would it be also true to say AM? Yeah. Keep it with you. Yeah. 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 Ye
this is more interesting. Okay. So what is your name? So, close it. Like, say single. Encrypt yourself with some something you, that is unique. Good. Right here and write your name. Yep. I don't know, maybe if you all are very... I mean, I don't care. <laughs> it's, e e well, it's easier to make sy systematic, yeah. even if you don't care, so... Uh, <laughs> well, do the same and write your name. <laughs> um, just a little... Easy first name, I guess. It's fine, it's fine. We use that a lot in those I don't know that That wasn't Probably you don't care about disclosing. Dawn was doing like a functional analysis. So put a stick in your name? Right. Took me forever to like, I'm still shitty at it. I don't even do it that fancy. Mm -hmm. I just like to make it. Some nice one. Why do an F1 we want to talk about? That's really funny. Mm -hmm. uh, um, like when Friedrich Lippmann does it, you just like literally just go like it just quails downwards. This <laughs> man's just less artistic. It's a friend. You haven't done any like funny shit even if you have one upper level. I mean, you'd at least understand the notation. Oh, yeah. You don't need to be correct. It needs to be. What are some other things other than that? That's that's what this is right here. It's the set of functions from like whatever space, right? So in this case, from complex to complex, um, so yeah, no. such that the integral squared is so, yeah. like it's not. And then you can find the norm on it. And like these like, functions are guessers, right? Yeah, like, I really wish I would have taken functional analysis before I quantum. Just like I took quantum, didn't understand what the fuck I was doing for like the entire time. And then did functional analysis, just like, oh, that's why we can do that. Like, oh, that's why we treat it like this. Like, oh my god, oh, that notation. I, wow, that's where that comes from. <laughs> like the, you know, the Brockhead notation. That's just like inner product notation. Which, I mean, you can find it. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, that's just uh, no, yeah, that's what it is. 
you find it by doing it more. Because mm -hmm. it's like the dot product, right? Because yeah. the yeah. dot product is just a specific Okay, now so your uh, identities are secure in case you are sensitive. And what we are going to do, I'm going to distribute the answer keys and you are going to um, move your to your next neighbor to the, let's say, left. And if you don't have neighbor from the left, just make it circle. And then we go together through grading effort. Got a digital copy? Yeah. Uh, which one? So it's cool if I just like write on it. Wait, that's the one. Fine. Fancy. This is like a. This is what is this one? Like right on the camera? No. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Circle. It's like a menu button. I mean, oh, it's, not, it's the bottom button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, I mean, just kidding. I didn't just hand that to you. <laughs> you don't, you don't even know. Okay. okay. Is it the this little guy over here? No, no, no. That's one that's on Oh, I see. Right, sir, button right there. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Fancy. No, it is a. Oh, it's like that. You crazy? You want your door there? Okay, so the total number of points of hundred. Do not hesitate to to give uh, maximum points. It's uh, the goal of the course is not to put anyone down. Just find benefit of the doubt to give uh, the maximum. I will review it anyway. <laughs> to, to so the uh, first problem, which was more mathematical than uh, related to physical and uh, quantum chemistry, you were converting a step function from x space to set of Fourier coefficients. So you've uh, found in the Wikipedia that Fourier transform is something that is a procedure that allows to encode continuous function into a set of discrete numbers. And you can save your time and scroll if the person whom you're grading has the answer like this, you can just assign full credit and go forward. If it is not, then you can try to uh, withdraw uh, points for being far from the numbers. Yeah. So, let me quickly go through the uh, solution. You are showing something? Yeah, I just like okay. Okay. So you should see uh, in the solution the function integrated and normalization factor, and there should be separate um, effort for coefficients with different index. So one of the things that good half of you, even if the, the answer is not obtained, should be seen is that in this list the coefficients are zeros. So coefficients in front of uh, cosine functions are, are zeros. And uh, if the work you're grading does have this uh, feature, you can give like more than more than 50%. 60 is for sure, even if the rest is wrong. And then um, if the coefficients in front of the sine functions, the B functions are um, having half of them as zeros and half of them are non zeros. You can give another generous portion of credits like 60 for, for this plus 20 if the pattern of zero and non zero is recovered. Okay? So the problem number two was basically 
repetition from the lecture material, right? So let's give 20 points to this problem and assign the five points if the Hamiltonian is reconstructed well, five points is if the plane wave function is used as the reasonable trial function. Another five if you if the person who was doing uh, was constructing a problem in the right way. And then another five points if the um, energy as function of momentum was reconstructed in, in a reasonable way. A little. Please give me a sign if uh, you are not ready with grading number two. If you have doubts, just give more points. So okay. then give benefit of the doubt. Can we go back to the last slide? Yes. And this slide is exactly what has been distributed. So. Uh, oh, right. How many points total per question? Yeah. Four. First one's 40. 40, 20, 40. Total. Hundred. So like zero one or like one more? One one. One one. One one. One one. One one. Okay. Zero is not, uh, not, not a problem. Yeah. So the first problem was worth uh, the, the zero problem. Yeah. It's not on there. Zero is nothing? <laughs> the, the total points is still 100. <laughs> like the whole assignment. Yeah. Okay. And you okay. do not hesitate to give a little more points than the uh, person deserves. Give points for a good attempt. <laughs> okay, number three. Um, here, the assignment was to convert Gaussian wave function from Cartesian space to momentum space. To find expansion coefficients, no. and uh, even if you have formulation of problem repeated, written, reconstructed at the first page, you you can give some points for the person recognizing the, the task. Then all of you should be trying to identify the Gaussian integral to identify new variable. Yeah. If you see this effort, see the effort to identify the integral, even the answer is uh, not quite right, you can give 50% uh, which will be 20 points. We are not in math class and we cannot punish people for being not careful enough about uh, equations. Um, let's quickly scroll to the answer. If you see the correct answer, just give full credit and do not bother with reading the rest. So if you, if you don't, just go through um, recognizing effort. And the variable in the power of exponential, so the set of, of variables, the position and uh, momentum, should be converted in a form to identify full square by Multiplying and subtracting, you will see that it is a two variables, and then adding, uh, multiplying and dividing, and then adding and subtracting. If you see this effort, give another 5% five, 5 irrelevant of the, of the answer. Okay, and if you see this notation where there is some uh, factors in front, and then the person has identified the Gaussian integral that you know should be square root of pi, give another five points. Okay? So I'm counting until 30 and then starting to collect. How do you want to collect this? Uh, he will convert it into PDF and send me as an email okay. for the last time. Next time, everyone will print it. Oops. Yeah. Okay? Ten. I'm counting twenty seconds more. Just complete, complete.
20. Thirty. Okay. So the braided work is uh, for me. Answer key is is yours forever. I'm I'm impressed how I'm doing. The grades are really good. Congratulations. Round up. Okay, congratulations to your successful completion of the homework. And in case you are still worrying about uh, the grades and you want to accumulate more and more points, um, we will have another initiative as a part of the class. So, although you performed well in this assignment, you see that it is a very substantial challenge, even, even if we do very brief effort in quantum theory, it is um, with all my good wishes, we cannot simplify it to solve this problem say, in two minutes. They're hard. But we want to get concepts, not the cheap piece of, of, of this little effort, although it is never hurts to, to, to get this training, but the time for the course is not long enough. So we do have a bypass. Some of the problems will be simplified by solving them numerically. This uh, so-called uh, MATLAB uh, 2 code. And you are invited to visit optional uh, MATLAB uh, lab uh, tonight at 5 at uh, QBB 132. 132, thank you. And in one week and a half from you are invited again by Freeview to make presentations in class, teaching one week and a half. Not coming Friday, but next Friday. So invited to give little presentations on how to operate the software. This is not literally physical chemistry or quantum theory, but with this auxiliary help, we will move forward like a rocket. And you will assist our, the whole, like each of you will hopefully assist the success of, of the whole class. Yes? So with those presentations, are we doing it like last time, you give us each a little section yes. over? Okay. Yes, yes. And then each person becomes expert in one section, and we all become certified experts in the whole piece of knowledge. So um, I have printed these sections. You may, I will distribute one for everyone, and then another one for me that you will feel. But uh, it is for your memo, and you, you can look through and, and decide what, you, what are your choices. You are also invited to, to make more than one choice. Like, first preference, second preference. So that everyone gets happy about about making presentations. And this, let me put a um, symbol here. So this one with smiling face, please pass it through and complete by the end of the class with putting your preferences. So just one piece of paper with your names near the subjects. Okay. So, half of the time is completed, and now we go to the lecture material.
So you can win back, relax, fall asleep. I will give you a signal when there will be something truly important to fall to record. But if you're curious, you can stay away for all the time. So who we are and what are we doing? We are in the physical chemistry class. And our goal is to understand mechanisms at least, and at most to get to get an ability to predict outcome of several physical chemistry experiments, such as NMR, visible, visible spectroscopy. And this path is not possible with, uh, without some background in quantum theory. So most of the time, although our goals are ambitious and practical, most of the time we are doing more or less uh, boring or exhausting learning of quantum theory. So since beginning of the course, <coughs> we have got several fundamental concepts. And through your presentations, uh, we all became familiar with them. So you are certified experts in postulates of quantum theory. And we have got several analogs of lab protocol, like prescriptions, how to solve quantum problems, and um, which allow to, to do what? To predict what? Future. Future. Future of, of what? Electron. Yes, future of, of electron. So dynamics, evolution of electron, uh, forward in time. And how many tools, how many methods of predicting future of electron we have by now? Yeah. So skip first two. <laughs> what does the third one uh, is based on? Just give some keywords. It's uh, it is not for record or for the. Like um, the prediction of the future of evolution of electron is solution of time dependent Schrodinger equation. But would you agree that in order to practice the solution of time dependent, you need to solve which one? Time dependent. Yes. So eigenvalue problem. And this uh, third way of solving this uh, Schrodinger is based on several components. So solutions of Time dependent eigen functions and eigen energies added together with expansion coefficients, right? And expansion coefficients is literally what you did in your homework uh, problem number three. So by merging together the eigen functions, eigen values in the power of exponential to accumulate phase. And expansion coefficients you can that correspond to to the past to initial condition. You can predict how the electron will evolve in time. Then we decided to look onto oversimplified test problem to check if this method is working. So we looked on the universe that doesn't have molecules, doesn't have ions. It have only, has only one electron. And then we apply this uh, methodology. Which question were we posing while uh, making this scientific problem for us? What did we ask ourselves of behavior of electron if it is initially localized in a specific space? Yes, yes, exactly. Whether it will grow or contract, expand or contract. And then we applied all this methodology, did some math tricks, and got that we can assign a variable for the width for, the, for this uh, distribution. And what does it, this uh, width of distribution, do this time? Expense. Expense. Does it expense like literally in time? Quadratic. Quadratic. Okay, perfect. So, no doubts that you are following what is going on in the course. And we were not the first who observed this property. So that the bit of the distribution. And then at the very last 
two minutes of the last lecture, we did important conclusions that can be projected from this property of electron vision to expand, to take more space, if there are no attractive ions. Um, from intuitive, from regular common sense, we are happy to, well, more or less happy to look on the distribution in Cartesian, in the position space. But at the same time, if we were using plane waves as basis functions, then expansion coefficients in this plane wave basis are sort of replacement of wave function, or wave function in momentum representation. So these fractions of which percent of electron given momentum is distribution in momentum space and it is another way to represent wave function right? and then we did a I don't know either congenial or silly thing we decided to look on the width of this distribution in momentum space in position space multiply them and look what is what is happening so in momentum space it doesn't change and in position expands to so the product grows right and if we carefully cancel all terms, we see that the answer the product of this width distribution width is proportional to a bar square to plant constant square plus additional term that grows linearly right so this conclusion that you guys derived free electron is very fundamental feature that will work for any electron in any environment, in any molecule or any material. So that width of distribution, which can be referred to as uncertainty times uncertainty uh, for position and momentum, cannot be smaller than one constant square. It, uh, it is equal or bigger. And often it just expands. So this is referred to as 